is democratic, kinship, communist, etc. The subject of corruption figures in every international summit. Corruption in the long run may destroy the whole society morally, ethically, economically. It damages the ethical fiber of civilization. Corruption is a kind of allurement psychologically encouraging the human being to do or not to do anything in order to make personal gains whether in kind, cash or otherwise. Today's conclave of different functionaries of government and masses reminded me of in the words of former Chief Election Commissioner T.N. Sheshan who once said, every patch of Indian society has become corrupt. The practice of corruption is a dishonest act. Today, we are here to celebrate Digitalization Week. In my opinion, it is one of the best practices that has direct effect on transparent, accountable and responsive administration. Digitalization, online services, e-governance will definitely do something to root out corruption from public life, Indian society as well. Mahatma Gandhi once said, to check corruption, we require high morals, extreme vigilance, can this part of those who are free from the corrupt particles. Even today, idealism in common man all over the world is not totally dead. So today, we are also celebrating Sanskrit Divas Week, the effect from 31st August 2023 to 6 September 2023. I would like to say a few words. The Rig Vedas, oldest religious book of the world says that ethically pure and intellectually capable persons should be allowed to administer the country. The Athar Veda considers it the duty of the citizens to see that the only the competent are at the helm of affairs. Various places to kill the devil of corruptions are first one is transparency in public life. For which today, conclave has great prevalence. I expect these officers, officials, who are gathered here at Temple of Learning to take a pledge to make at the Soli, Vishwasthali, once known for its miniature painting, communal harmony of corruption free Soli. Under the overall dynamic headship of son of Soli Vardi, ADC the Soli, Shri Ajit Singh Ji, JKS. Second one is stringent laws to deal with corruption cases, electoral reforms, reforms in judiciary system to quicken the disposal of cases of corruption. But the foremost duty and responsibility is with his common man also. Third one is unless the journal must be awakened, the evil of corruption cannot be rooted. The honest bureaucrats must be given due recognition and protection. We are living in a democratic country. We must be aware of our rights and power of voting. One should remember, little that faster smell for worse than these. Say Shakespeare. People follow the elders, the leaders and the persons in authority. If the so-called leaders, bureaucrats, one who is sunk in the oceans of corruption, then who can save India? The fight the demands of corruption, not only politicians, but also the common mass have to strive hard, sincerely, honestly and with determination. Vigilant and awakened people can prove to be competent army under the leadership of an honest and dedicated leader, the evil and devil of corruption. I would like to conclude my speech with request for an appeal to all gathered here to take wholeheartedly pledge to eradicate corruption. I am very thankful to the seal administration, my principal, Shri Lalit Sharma sir, who provide me this platform to express my views on corruption, Sanskrit Divas and digital, Digitalization Week. Thank you.